Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have some reviews of new release books from Alan and Unwin. Alan and Unwin did send these books to me for review so I'm very grateful to them for that and I'm really excited to share them with you. So all of these books released on the 30th of April so I'm a little bit behind on my reviews but I have finally read them and as I said, I'm very excited to share them with you. We are going to start off with How to Measure the Ocean by Inda Ahmed Zari. I read a previous book by this author last year and this one intrigued me because I loved the title, I loved the idea of it, which is, you know, how do you measure the ocean? Something that's vast and limitless and is really difficult to measure. It does introduce you to early math concepts and explores the incredible wonders of the ocean, but there is also an underlying message and an analogy that can be made for how you actually measure really big things, including how you measure big emotions. So it is a great jumping off point for a conversation. It has absolutely stunning, stunning pictures and illustrations. The main text is simple and easy to understand. It explores lots of different concepts from lines to geography to capacity to even the water cycle which is amazing and I had such a great time exploring this and I'm looking forward to taking this into the classroom to use it because I think this is a really versatile picture book. Another book that I received for review was Smarty Pup Book 4 Talent Quest by Ando. I've said before this is my favourite of Ando's ongoing serial books. This one is full colour, it is a junior fiction slash very early middle fiction book. It does have chapters and it does explore a lot of concepts that are pretty prevalent in middle primary and if you are unfamiliar with the series we have JJ who is a dog who can speak and has a genius IQ and this results after some stuff from Space Lands on JJ one night in the first book and JJ goes to school with his owner Lily and they live with dad and in this book it is nearly dad's birthday and dad does a lot of things for Lily and JJ and they're both incredibly appreciative and when dad's drill breaks JJ is determined that they will be able to replace that for him. The only problem is they can't afford it and so they enter this talent quest at school which has a cash prize but because JJ is good at everything he is disqualified from most of the categories except for the one where he's really not good which I'll leave you to figure out which one that is. This one is about perseverance, it is about friendship and about caring for the people that you love and how you show that love and it is about never giving up. It is really fun and as I said I really enjoy this one and for kids that you might be buying it for there's always stickers in the back of the book. And then the final book that I'm going to talk about is Brave Kahu and the Parangi Magpie and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. This book is written by Shelley Byrne Field who I think is of Samoan and also Maori descent so this comes out of New Zealand and has a First Nations author and in this one we are following a family of three Swamp Harrier Hawk siblings who find themselves orphaned after their mother is killed in a magpie attack. They have to band together to try and stop this group of magpies from overtaking the area where they live. This has happened before when the magpies were exiled and this time they're back with uh, a Parangi magpie which means mad magpie at the helm and so it is up to Poto and her siblings to try and figure out what to do and how to enlist the help of other New Zealand animals to help them in their quest. This was really interesting because I don't often read a lot of New Zealand fiction and I was having to look up a whole lot of animals that I didn't realize or I'd mixed up the names of and so for me that was a really great experience. It was a great little adventure story. It does have a real big focus on family and recognizing the strengths of the people in your family even when previously you might have thought those strengths were actually weaknesses. It's also about accepting not only your role but also other people's roles in any kind of circumstances. There are a lot of Maori words and there is a glossary at the back of the book which was very very helpful for me I will let you know and I was flinging forwards and backwards. Sometimes I can pick it up on context but there are a few that I had to double check like Kahu and I really really enjoyed this one so thank you very much to the publisher for sending me this book, this one and this one because I had a really great time reading all three of them and I am looking forward to seeing what's coming out in the upcoming month. In the description down below I will leave links to the publisher's website as well as all three of these books if you want to find out more information about them. If you have read these books or these authors at, or if you are planning on picking up these books feel free to let me know down in the comments or let me know if you have recommendations for similar titles. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave any kind of ocean themed emoji down below otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.